Hi everybody and welcome to another training video from SkySiv. Uh, today we're going to take you through how to model uh, structures using the uh, mirror or duplicate functionality um, in the Structural 3D program. So what this is useful is that you only have to build part of the structure and then you can basically duplicate that across planes so you can work a lot quicker and a lot, a lot faster in uh, designing your models. So today I'm just going to take us through a simple example. Um, we're going to just look at uh, a vertical uh, member, so something like a pile, um, you know, 10 feet uh, in the Y, and I'm just going to join these two nodes with a member, and I'll support it at the base at node 1. So it's kind of like a pile member going into, the, uh, into a fixed support, something like that. And so to use the duplicate function, all I'm going to do is control A, so I'm going to select all, and then go advanced, operations, and repeat mirror. And so it's got a few, three options here. So uh, first one is, is the number of repetitions. So how many times do I want to copy this uh, part of the structure across? Um, so I'm going to go with, we'll, we'll copy it five times across. The next one is the distance between repetitions. So how far is uh, this member and these, these nodes from the next one? So we'll do a span of, of 10 feet. So I'll just type in 10 there. And then the last question is the direction. So uh, looking at my... Uh, coordinate system here, what direction do I want to do it in? Is it a positive x, uh, positive y? Um, and I'm going to try and I'm going to do this in the positive x, which means it's going to duplicate across the right of my screen. So I hit submit, and I can see that's been duplicated five times across. And, um, you know, maybe now I want to make some adjustments, so I'll add a, another member across, and uh, I'll make that a section ID 2. So to do that, I just hold down the key 2 and click and drag my member across. And again, I'm just going to control A, uh, go under operations, repeat mirror, and this one I'll, do, I'll repeat this 10 times and we'll go for a longer span, we'll go for 20 foot span uh, distance between repetitions. And then again, looking at my uh, coordinate system here, I want to go in the negative Z, which is, is backwards into the, into the uh, page there. So I'll go negative Z axis, submit, and I can see once again that's been duplicated um, several times across. And I might want to do the same thing again where I, you know, maybe there's another different type of section here. So section ID 3. And it just saves me having to draw that member through all the nodes. I can simply um, select that, run the operation again for five repetitions, 10 feet across in the positive x direction again. So obviously that saves me a lot of time um, having to. Uh, rather than having to model each element, uh, you know, member by member, I can simply build one or two frames out and then uh, extrude them out in each of the planes. Um, I would always recommend after you've completed, say, a portion of this um, uh, duplicating, that you would you might want to run the uh, repair model function. So what this will actually do is is look out for any. Um, sorry, double click there. What this will actually do is look out for any duplicate members, duplicate nodes. Um, it'll run uh, basically an entire check on your, your whole structure to make sure that it is be, be built correctly and that there are no errors in the uh, model. So uh, I can already kind of see that as I was duplicating, I might have made a, uh, a mistake and um, I've got duplicate nodes every now and then. So I'm going to check for issues and I can see that those duplicate nodes have all been picked up. So I could toggle on and select which ones I want to keep as is. But for the most part, I want to remove any duplicate nodes. They're not going to really help my model. Um, and so I'll run the repair. And that should now clean up my structure for me. So uh, another example where this is quite useful is in, say, you've, you've really built sort of part of the frame out. Um, you know, you've added the plates. You've uh, done your offsets. I've uh, got some gusset members here as well. Um, so you kind of built a partial frame that you want to um, then duplicate out. So this is obviously going to save you a lot of time if you then just repeat that five times, say, in the uh, uh, every 10 feet in the negative Z direction. And then, you know, maybe you want to build up the, the rest of your frame by, again, just uh, repeating in the X every, this is every 20 feet. And then, for, you know, you might want to build up the, the rest of the building in the Y direction as well. So you can see it's quite useful, quite quick, quite quick to work with um, when you're building out larger structures that do have uh, kind of consistent um, dimensions. 
So that completes our um, tut short tutorial on, on the duplicating mirror function. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at skysiv.com. Otherwise, feel free to check out all our other documentation videos uh, for more training tips on SkySiv. Thank you.